The weather has been relatively dry so far this summer in much of Louisiana. And all this dry weather has got gardeners thinking about plants that are more drought tolerant. They don't have to be irrigated so much during dry periods. Well, do be careful when selecting plants, particularly looking on the Internet. Plants that are native to the southwestern United States, where they get maybe five inches of rain a year, may not do well in Louisiana, where we typically get, typically get about 50 to 60 inches. But I do have a selection of great drought tolerant plants here that will do very well in your Louisiana landscapes. And once they're established, would rarely need supplemental irrigation. Let's start off with these oleanders. Now there are standard oleanders like this one with the bigger leaves. They'll get to be about 10 feet tall and wide, so you gotta have room for them. The dwarf oleanders, on the other hand, like this one, will tend to stay about five by five feet, and that fits in more with most landscapes. Down here in front is a pretty new agave. These are nice succulent plants. This one's gonna stay more compact and has variegated foliage. And right beside it, if you want some pretty colors in your drought tolerant garden, bed, lantana is among the most drought tolerant of the bedding plants that we use. This lovely silver leaf plant here is called Texas sage. It produces these nice lavender flowers on a really nice shrubby plant. For nice shrubs as well, you can choose Indian hawthorns among the most drought tolerant of our shrubs. Again, once they're established, you'd really need to irrigate them. We've also got this bottle brush bush right here. For height in your dry garden, the bottle brush bush would rarely need any supplement irrigation once established. And finally, let me wrap up here with this yucca. The yuccas are also really great for dry gardens. Now, this is just a few of the many plants that do well in dry areas in Louisiana that you don't have to water so much. Forget it growing, I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.